is theorized that methane is the catalyst that controls the warming and cooling periods. Its release from frozen state is triggered by the warmings of the waters surrounding it. On shallow ocean shelves, it then rises to the atmosphere. Methane hydrates contain 20 times the level of carbon dioxide than the world's fossil fuels. Methane is found frozen in Earth's oceans and frozen under polar ice caps and permafrost layers. There are trillions of cubic meters of methane hydrate throughout the world's oceans and landlocked in underground tunnel chambers. It is theorized that by the mid-20th century, overfishing had caused a large expansion of plankton, which assist in trapping carbon dioxide. Plankton emit hydrogen sulfite when biodegrading, which then mixed with methane react, causing ocean fissures that were releasing minute amounts of methane to expand much larger. This would trigger a feedback loop effect, releasing methane hydrates caused by warming oceans, trapping carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, causing warming to increase ocean temperatures, and melting permafrost layers causing more methane to release. Each step increases in volume and speed until the volcanic stage of the warming period. It cannot be stopped. Mining of methane hydrate should be discussed and planned carefully, as methane may be a component of the Earth's ability to heal via warming cooling cycles. There have been examples of how the methane is now entering our atmosphere in increasing levels and examples of how it reacts with life on Earth. Mass marine deaths and mass bird deaths have occurred worldwide almost all over known methane deposits. Perhaps repopulating our ocean's fish stocks would benefit us for the balance of our planet Earth removing a card in our food chain may cause our house to fall down. To conclude, these are the steps of the theory of the reset cycle. Based upon this, you can determine where we stand today. 1. Ice Age. The causes are usually volcanic. Volcanic activities emit large amounts of acids into the atmosphere, which mixes with methane. Volcanic winters block out solar rays, Results are poisoned oceans and atmospheres. Hydrogen peroxide is then trapped in ice. 2. The atmospheric balance stage as the ice melts. The hydrogen peroxide molecules are exposed to hydrocarbons, filtering them to make the end product oxygen. 3. Gradual warming stage. The ice recedes, creating fresh lakes and fertile soil. Planet is cooled and temperatures indicate climate balance. 4. The evolutionary stage begins and progresses while favorable conditions remain on the surface of the planet. 5. The warming period. Near the end of the gradual warming stage, the polar ice caps, permafrost layers begin to melt as does enormous pockets of frozen and trapped methane. As the methane warms and releases, it traps carbon dioxide emissions. Trapped methane represents 20 times more CO2 gases than all the world's fossil fuels in the atmosphere, causing more warming and ice melt releasing more methane, speeding the process each time. As the ice melts, enormous pressures from the north and south polar regions on the tectonic plates of the Earth are released, causing land movement. Tremendous shock waves from the Earth land movement cause earthquakes and tsunamis. Land movement then causes volcanic activity. Toxic gases are released in the atmosphere from the increased warming and volcanic activity. 
volcanic winters would start the cooling period. Then the cycle begins again. Tune in next edition for our summer fun theories. The topic will be ghosts.